2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We've already got quite a series on our hands, folks, and this is only the first round. Game six in the West. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The front court is McDaniels and Towns. Conway is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And for the Suns, the big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal is the guards. And KD at the four. Allen is out there with Nurkic. Take a look at the Suns. Well, Greg, we know it's an uphill battle from here. Down three games to two, and there's no wiggle room. Yet there is some reason for optimism. Yeah, I mean, they've already proven yeah, they can win. They've done it twice in this series. They're home. They've adjusted to everything that's been thrown at them. We'll see if they can do it again here and even things up. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. And slam dunk by Gobert. Stay clear of Gobert on the dunk now. The force he goes to the rim with is mighty. Booker with it. Now defended by Gobert. Nurkic can't hit. And so Edwards will bring it up for Minnesota. Conley. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. You know, kind of odd to see a lefty in today's game. But Conley's a player you have to anticipate properly. Or he'll use your mistake to get the end one. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Here's Booker. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Skillful make inside by Booker. Able to find his spot for the finish. Conley against Booker. Towns for three. Drains the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Allen outside. Passes to Durant. He dishes it to Beal. Five on the clock, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And this is what Beal does. He puts pressure on the defenders and makes them compromise when he does. Shooting two. Real good, Beal. And now a veteran in this league. Beal is hungry to compete for championships at this stage of his career. And both free throws good for Beal. For Minnesota, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Gobert the pass to McDaniels and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah I agree. You know sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make but not that time. It was easy there. Now here's McDaniels. And Gobert kicks to McDaniels. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Rooker the pass to KD. The baseline J. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Boy, Durant's confidence through the roof. I mean, he knows he can get his shot over anybody at any time. Towns. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Towns has got five. This team is rolling right now. Still haven't missed a shot. That's good from Booker. On the assist by Allen. You know, you're going to have 
success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you want to start. And good that time. Towns has got his third bucket of the night. For a big guy like Towns to have that mid-range game in his bag, that's a big-time weapon for their offense. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. An elite offensive threat. Booker continues to try and find ways to improve his game. And once against Beal. Towns for three. Rebound by Nurkic. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And at 4-5 or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. Here's Nurkic. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Here's Edwards. Banked in off the glass. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Suns. They trail by one. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively. And they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Pass to Booker. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Timeout call first of the game for Minnesota. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Suns making a change here. Holes checked in. Suns on defense. Three point lead. There's the lob to Towns. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Durant. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Anderson's checked in. Lock at six. Tipped away. And stolen by Booker. Here's KD. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Six points for KD. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's McDaniel. Four on the clock. There's the triple. Drills it from outside. McDaniel's got seven points. If you want the title of 3 and D player, you've got to make three. McDaniel's has really worked on that shot. 
punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Here's Booker driving the lane. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. And he's a pure point guard with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. Now, here's Bull. Reed with the book. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Durant. Royce O'Neal comes in for Allen. And Gordon subbed in for Beal. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Monte Morris comes in for Michael Conley. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from 14. O'Neal misses. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And he's got his first chance at the line here. throw good for Morris. Phoenix has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Gordon, the pass to Eubanks. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. First one falls for And both free throws good for Eubanks. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when you're big can knock him down from the line. Pass to Alexander Walker. And another three timeout, for timeout. Minnesota. Capable of finding his open guys. Edwards Smart. getting better at improving his overall floor awareness. Nice to see. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Suns trail by three. Here's Booker. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Gordon. Nothing on the board. Booker against Morris. The 
pass to Reed. Another shot. Morris, no good. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Gordon inside. He's against Anderson. And the basket by Gordon. Even when Gordon is under pressure, he finds a way to score the ball. That's what he is. He is a determined and capable scorer. Here's Alexander Walker. He has six. Pass to Reed. Here's Alexander Walker. Just five on the clock. From 20 feet out. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. Four-point game. And that one is off. Outside Edwards. Count that one. And the Timberwolves lead by six. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now here's Gordon. Fires from the line. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Gordon's got his second basket. Timeout, timeout. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Minnesota calls timeout. One oh two left to play in the first. Now Morris has to read over Eubanks. Got a hand on it. Left side Gordon, and that one drops for him. Now just a two point Timberwolves lead. How about the ball handling from Gordon? Very creative. Pretty tight with it and knows how to get through the defense with that tight handle. And, and look, he's not the best athlete, but he's able to create the space he needs to operate. Here's Eubanks. The feed to Booker. Keeping the defense honest can't be over aggressive against Booker. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Here's Edwards. Makes good on the step back jumper. Edwards got his third basket of the night right there. Flashing pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We've got more in store for you right after this. And 
we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And what do you guys think about Minnesota here in this one? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. And Minnesota has possession. They've got Bradley Beal. Duran is out there with O'Neal. Then there's Grayson Allen. And it's Nurkic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Here's Alexander Walker. Six on the shot clock. Here's McDaniels. And the rebound by Nurkic. The Suns trailing. Takes it from 10. That's good from Beal on the assist by KD. Durant's got his third assist on the night. Beal against Hunt. Pass to Alexander Walker. Hands it from downtown. Alexander Walker's got 11 points. You've got to have a good basketball IQ to be effective. I love the decision to kick it out. Outside Beal. The pass to O'Neal. He wants to get it to Nurkic and does. Over Gobert. Gobert with the block. This is what Gobert is known for. His ability to swat shots away with ease. McDaniels dishes to Towns. Back to McDaniel. Over O'Neal. A nice shot by McDaniel. Now it's a five-point Minnesota lead. Taking people to school with moves like that. Towns against KD. O'Neal from long range. That's a miss. His second after two shots. Towns gets to Conley. to Towns. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, you got to respect and admire the focus of Towns. I mean, he just doesn't get rattled. He just stays with it, embraces the challenge, and keeps coming. And it's Durant missing. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Nick Daniels finds Gobert. To the right side. Conley against Beal. Rebound by Nurkic. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Wasted no time on that one. O'Neal's got his first points of the night. Nice unselfish passing there by Beal. He, he knows he can't do it all by himself. And Durant sends it back. for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Towns. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kevin Durant. Textbook up fake there. Towns does a great job imitating his usual shot motion. Earns himself a trip to the line. First free throw is good. Town drops them both. And you can make a case and argue that Cat is perhaps one of time the out, greatest, if not the greatest, shooting big man of all time. And he's still got a lot of runway in front of him for his career. And the Suns call time.
Suns moving the ball around. KD passes to O'Neal. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. KD's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Passes it to Towns. Good, nice job down low. Towns has got six points in the quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far, and when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. KD dishes to Beal. Gobert with the block. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Allen, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. On the free throw, no good. Suns trail by six. Here's O'Neal. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Here's Beal in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Defense has Beal well covered inside, but he can get aggressive and fights his way through for that shot. Alexander Walker passes to go there. Conley with the three, and the three ball is good. Conley's got the lead up to seven now for Minnesota. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. O'Neal looking around. Just five to shoot. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Count it. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Now here is Conley. He has six. And finished off by Gobert. Gobert is a big target, especially when he's roaming around that rim. Phoenix calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. The Suns here with a different look. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. Ole comes in for Kevin Durant. Gordon's checked in for Royce O'Neal. And it's Booker in for Grayson Allen. Timberwolves also changing it up. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Edwards comes in for McDaniels. And Monte Morris subbed in for Nikhil Alexander Walker. Here's Booker. He's got 20. It's Beal on the wing, over by Conley, and that one is good from Bradley Beal. And people thought Beal was just a shooter out of college, but he rounded out his game when he learned how to finish through contact. Now, here is Morris. Here's Reed. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. 
Reeves got seven points. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Booker the pass to Eubanks. Outside, Beal. And the ability of Beal to just wear out the defense. At times, you almost have to foul him to stop him. The Suns have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. Shooting two. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. Timberwolves leading by six. Here's Anderson. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Here's Eubanks. Six to shoot. Here's Beal. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Beal's got 13. Butter. Even with the contact, Beal does not flinch. Here's Conley. Booker against Morris. Back to Reed. And another three for Minnesota. He got off to a slow start. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game. But he's turned it on here in the second. Bull kicks to beat. Pass to Eubanks. Booker in the post. Covered by Morris. And there it is for him. Booker's got 22 points. Boy, that's a winning basketball play right there. Hustle hard. Pass to Reed. Back to Morris. Contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one is on bolt. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. The first one falls. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Minnesota. And Morris drops them both. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. They trail by nine points. And there's the pass to Eubanks. And here's Gordon. Another three for Phoenix. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the pass. Here's Gobert, and that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. Good hustle right there. I love that effort. Just a little late in the act. Phoenix has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Eubanks finds Beal. Shot clock at six. He claims that one off the back iron and down it falls. Beal's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Gordon against Anderson. Passes it to Reed. And another three for Minnesota. Well, the defense not doing a good job at all of getting after him. They've got to crowd him and make it tough for him. That's his second this quarter. Here's Booker. And it's good. Looking quite sharp with 10 of 12 shooting tonight. And we see this so often from Booker because he has the green light to take any shot he wants. Pass to Reed. This is to Morris. Over Booker. Morris, no good. Suns trail by seven. 
Beal with a bucket. Beal's got 17. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. 36 seconds left to play here in the half. Back to Morris. Let's the three fly. Here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Double-digit boards, a regular occurrence for Gobert. Makes it easier to get those second-chance hoops, too. Beal, Edwards with the block. And they'll keep possession. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul. Booker against Morris. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Well, they've got to be careful. A big key to beating them is keeping Booker off the line as much as possible. The Suns have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. Both free throws good from Booker. Gordon against Edwards. Right side Towns. Inside. Here's Anderson. Good. And the assist goes to Towns. Anderson's got six points. And Cat remains an excellent passer at his position. Outstanding at seeing the floor and finding teammates. And that does it for the first half of play. Timberwolves lead by seven. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening, and we're happy to have you here for the halftime show. For the Timberwolves, they clearly can sense how close they are to wrapping up the series in six games. They'd love to close it out here and avoid a game seven. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? The way they're shooting in from deep, they're going to be hard to beat. This team has a lot of confidence and lets it fly without hesitation. Defensively, you have to force them off this spot. Kenny, your take on Phoenix. Well, it's never fun. When you're playing against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. The front court is McDaniels in town. And it's Gobert in at the five, home in the paint. The defender all over Durant, and he still gets it to go. Well done. Edwards, that's good. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, I think he'd give up. Now here's Allen. Nurkic, the pass to Beal. Six to shoot. And here's Booker from the arc. Rebound, Minnesota. 
Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's Conley that time on the assist from Edwards. Edwards got four assists in the game. Beal taking his time here. Driving in. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Edwards. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now it's an 11 point Timberwolves lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here's Booker. 26 points for him. Difficult shot. There are only a handful of players in this league with Booker's range. Here's Conley. And the shot is long. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with Rhythm. Nurkic dishes to Durant. Count that one as his seventh make in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. That's three of four here to start the half. Edwards against Beal. Towns gets to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Out to Edwards. From the arc. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. And, you know, for Edwards, it's about hitting the three consistently. This will help take his game to the next level. Timeout call. The Suns. You look at Downs. He's really been playing well. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Neal's checked in for Allen. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Stolen by Conley. Fast break. Minnesota. A pull-up. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. 11-point game. Driving inside. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Durant's got six here in this quarter. Outside, Edwards. Has to go big. There's McDaniels. And another three for Minnesota. Attacking right away. McDaniels wasting no time there. And the pass to O'Neal. Another one falls for Phoenix. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that one. And you know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Chalk up two there. Towns has got the lead up to 12 now for the Timberwolves. Look, how do you come up with a strategy to defend Towns on a night like this? I'm anxious to see you try Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Minnesota calls timeout.
Some changes for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Edwards. Passes it to Reed. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Here is Conley. That's a made shot from Bradley Beal. And again, Minnesota will turn it over. Suns trail by eight. Booker looking around. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Conley finds Towns. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Come on, this is a big guy here, Towns. I mean, you got to foul him a lot harder than that to stop the shot. I mean, he's just too strong. Now he gets a chance to add one more at the line. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Timberwolves? Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep, just dropping triple after triple. Now here's Booker. He's got 31. Basket good. Booker's got seven points for the quarter. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. And he makes that one. Paint is Carl Anthony's domain. His body lets him just own it. 13 feet away. Count that one. And the Timberwolf lead has been cut to just seven points in the basket from Durant. Yeah, he's been hooping. But the rest of the team, not so much. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Now here's Gordon. Nine points in the game so far. Launches a three. Here's Nurkic. Reed with the block. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Eubanks. Phoenix. Bobo comes in. Durant. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Gordon outside. Rebound, Minnesota. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And it's Anderson that time on the assist by Morris. And now it's an 11-point Timberwolves lead. For three, Booker, and he's good on the three ball. Booker's got 10 points in just the second half. Every chance he gets, Booker willing to take that shot. A consistent three-point shoot. And the Timberwolves call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Edwards has checked in. So it's Minnesota now. They're leading by eight. McDaniels. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. 
Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now, here is O'Neal. He's got nine. For Phoenix, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And he makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Timberwolves leading by eight. Edwards passes to Reed. The dish now to Anderson. Kicks it to Edwards. Five to shoot. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw good, Edwards. How about the work ethic of Anthony Edwards? Not to mention that linebacker build and the sweet shooting stroke. But what he wants most is to see his team succeed. That's what you love about A.E. Here's Eubanks. Here's Booker. Here's Bull. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Those boards appear to me like easy money for Bull. Then the awareness to put it back through. That's good work. Such a wide open look. Reeves got the lead up to 12 now for the Timberwolves. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Good on the three-point shot. O'Neal's got seven points for the quarter. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. He is three for three from the free throw line. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Allen's checked in for Phoenix. So he gets them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Can't be thrown any better. That bounce pass hit him right in stride. That one against Morris. Over Allen. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Morris has got nine. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now one against Morris. From 11 feet away, and it's Phoenix scoring again. Timberwolves leading by eight. 139 left in the third quarter. Morris gets to Anderson. Yeah, nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. An absolutely tremendous athlete able to go up and finish over the biggest of defenders. Bucket is good. He's got 11. And their outside game has simply evaporated here in the second half. Not a lot of great looks from deep. Morris dishes to McDaniels. Reed. 
and it's blocked. And they get it back. Nick Daniels finds Morris. Two on the clock. Goes up again. And at last, they get one to fall. Nick Daniels got seven points for the quarter. Gordon, the pass to Allen. Now, Eubanks. Let's it go from the wing. Allen's shot is off. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's Morris. Excellent D there from Allen. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. And O'Neal gets it to go. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's uh, a characteristic. And so it's Minnesota going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. The big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal is the guards, and KD at the four. Nurkic is out there with Allen. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Here's Towns. Up and in, that's his 10th make in the contest. He has only taken 13 shots. Hey, he's used to that. I mean, teams try to be physical with Towns and body him up, beat him up, but he's a little too strong for that to bother him. Norkic in the post. Gobert on him. Out that one in, and the Timberwolf lead is cut down to 10 points. And thanks to that one from Norkic. Conley kicks to McDaniel. Pass to Towns. Makes it off the glass. Towns has got 11. Second half. You know, defensively, there's not a lot you can do in that situation. I mean, Towns is just so big and strong and long. Really hard to stop him in the paint. For three, Durant, and a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got four assists in the game. A pass to McDaniels. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Towns has got six here in this quarter. Down. A three-level score. Durant is a pick-your-poison matchup for defenders. Oh, the lob to Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. And, and that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Conley gets the bucket. And he's been a terrific point guard in this league for a long time. Mike Conley just knows how to play. Edwards against Beal. Bank shot, no good. Yeah, but the hand in the face, it's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Here's Conley. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got the lead up to 13 now for the Timberwolves. Beal, the pass to Allen. Katie with it. He kicks it to Beal. The three. Another three for Phoenix. 
just wearing this defense out. Beal, relentless at the offensive end. McDaniels vicious the counter. A Timberwolves working the ball around. Back to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Booker against Conley. And Booker kicks to Nurkic. KD on the wing. Booker outside. Allen surveying the D. Another three for Phoenix. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. That's a two from Towns. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got nine assists in the game. Great passer. Outside Durant. Over Towns. And with that shot, the Timberwolves lead is cut back down again to single digits with those points from Durant. Sweet mid-range jumper for Kevin Durant. He's dialed in wherever he shoots it from. Conley, the pass to Gobert. That one good for two. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Passes to KD. Off target with his three. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Timberwolves. And Edwards with the stuff. Yeah, you know, once Edwards flips that switch, now he stays fully engaged. His offensive arsenal is on full display. KD against Towns. KD dishes to Booker. Booker draws the double. Phoenix needs to get off his shot. Nailed from three-point land. Beal's got six here in this quarter. Durant commands so much attention. Part of the reason why he had a wide-open teammate there. Right wing. Gobert, the pass to Conley. Stolen by Durant. To the inside. And the dunk by Booker. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Yes, that goes in. Edwards got 20 points. And, you know, we need to keep seeing this from Edwards. It's encouraging to see him sink the mid-range J there. Pass to Nurkic. Booker with no one around. Another three for Phoenix. Yeah, they're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. Conley inside the line. Rebound by the Suns. Durant the pass to Booker. And the dunk by Booker. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And the defense has to bring more fire than we're seeing. Gobert just fighting through all of it. Booker uses the glass to finish the way. Booker's got 45 points. He is just self-willing this team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. Has to go big. Towns for three. Hangs on the trifecta. 33 points for him. And you can just see the confidence level growing with each shot that he's made. That's now five of five here in the fourth. And guys, in that case, his teammates should really just keep getting him the ball until he misses or cools off. Because right now, he's got it going. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Conley's shot is off. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. KD with the bucket. He's unguardable. Nobody been able to contain him here in the fourth quarter. Now four or five from the field. Beal against Edwards. Good on the 13-footer. Edwards got 16 points here in the second half. You know, confidence feeds on itself. And the more experience Edwards gets, I think the more confidence he'll continue to gain, especially operating in these pick-and-roll sets. And with that shot, the Timberwolves lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Bradley Beal. Minnesota calls timeout. You know, he could see his squad was losing momentum, losing steam. Smart timeout to let them catch their breath and reset.
And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Carl Anthony Towns. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. He put it on them. He said, guys, you've got a chance to win this one. When you've got a chance to close this team out, we can't let it go to waste. We'll see if they can seize the moment, Kevin. Thanks, David. Gobert, the pass to Conley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And Conley drops them both. Here's Beal. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. down the first one. And both free throws good for Beal. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. Conley against Booker. Out to Edwards. And the shot goes down. Edwards got 18 points now here in the second half. Defense gets burned by Edwards' ball handling ability. I mean, this guy is athletic and can really move. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. KD dishes to Beal. And the call is going to be Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Anthony Edwards has a great body and knows how to control it. Showing you right there by taking advantage to draw the foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight point game. And the Suns call time. They trail by eight. 121 left in the fourth.
Edwards against Beal. For three, connects from three-point range. Beal's got 13 points in just this quarter. That's a huge basket. Beal, showing why you can build your franchise around him. He is that special. That one goes in, and the Timberwolves lead by seven. What a move that time. Crossed up the whole building on that play. Here's Durant, and Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. And it's Conley with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's it go from four. Oh, my goodness! That is breathtaking. And, you know, for all his perimeter skills, Towns also bringing that physicality inside. Here's Booker. Gobert with the block. And now the fast break. Edwards with the ball. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It's the first, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And Edwards drops them both. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. Two shots. Good on the first, and that brings them to within 10. And both free throws good for Beal. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Morris looking over the floor. And they're going to move on to the conference semifinals. It took them six games to do it, Greg, but they finally asserted themselves and move on to round two. Uh, and I really think it benefits a team to have a competitive series in, in round one. It gets those playoff juices kind of flowing, <laughs> if you will. Prevents any kind of complacency from setting in. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Rudy, what did the bench do to help you get this win tonight? They've been huge. You know, they, they brought us back in the game, and uh, everyone contributed. You know, it wasn't an easy night for us at the beginning, but uh, we kept fighting, and uh, it's a big win for us. And I'm sure you want to keep it going, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.